Well, you must have really enjoyed pre-season. It seemed to seem to go really well for you. Yeah, it was a really really positive time this pre-season. Um, played some top teams, and and my performances I thought were were good. And but well, there's always room for improvement. Yeah, and a, a big part for you, I suppose, is just being a bigger part of the the group, feeling more part of the, the first team taking that step? Yeah, definitely. Um, the last couple of years I've gone out on loan and, and got my men's games in, so this season I really want to push on and, and really try to take a claim this year. Yeah, and balancing being patient with being ready to go. Yeah, exactly. It's just finding that right balance and and staying patient and just waiting for that time to come about. Yeah, is it is it hard to stay sharp when you haven't necessarily got the regular competitive matches? Are you ready to deal with all of that? Um, I think I think especially this year with uh, Bloomy now coming in, I think that's a big thing that they're they're wanting to improve on, like keeping us sharp. So then, when our chance does come, uh, we're ready for it. Yeah, and I suppose over the past two or three years, you've been in in quite a difficult position because of covid you've been in that bracket where it's sometimes been hard to get the games and keep the momentum so you're you're quite used to to dealing with all of that yeah exactly the last couple of years have been been a bit hectic with missing month after month because because obviously the uh, non-league non-league leagues were um cancelled and stuff so yeah i suppose i'm ready for that kind of that kind of challenge yeah and looking at the squad as a whole perhaps a sense that you can bring something to the mix that isn't already in there what you can provide in in midfield is a bit different yeah definitely I, I like to think that I like to get on the ball and and try dictate play when I can so yeah when when the, the right game comes about hopefully I can I can show that must be a real bounce around the squad after the weekend really good start all of the the desire the energy enthusiasm that we'd expect from the use and the, the quality to win the game as well yeah all the boys are buzzing it was a great result I don't think many people would have expected it but that's us isn't it um we like being the underdogs and, and punching above our weight. So, yeah, great result. Yeah, and I guess you've seen from the outside to, to a certain degree how tight this squad is. Now you're you're right in the thick of it. Must be really nice. Yeah, exactly. Um, the last couple of years have, have been great, and although I haven't played played a part really, I've I've been here training, and and you really do get that sense of of team team morale and that kind of stuff. Yeah, and really looking to use that to your advantage in that there have been a few comings and goings this summer but we've heard the manager talk about that continuity and, and keeping the momentum there yeah exactly I, I played a couple of games at the end of last season so I'm familiar with familiar with all the lads so um, yeah all the new boys have looked really good really good so far so yeah exciting yeah that was great from your point of view that it was a case of job done a few games from the end of the season and the fact that the planning could start for this season to a certain degree and you could get some game time just helps with that getting a feel for for league one and the crowds and all of that side of things yeah exactly that yeah it really did fall in my hands because obviously i was out on loan and then then it gave me the chance to come back get that experience when although the games were still important there, there weren't as much pressure on us and and i could really enjoy those last couple of games and get a feel of what league one football's like yeah and you talk about building momentum on a personal level for the youth system as a whole it must make it easier for you that say you look at Ben Warman who's a little bit further down the road and you've got the obvious example there and you've seen what he's been able to do yeah exactly looking at Warmo last year that's something that I want to kind of recreate kind of thing and and make sure that this season that's, that's me um, there's been other names previously like Harry Darling obviously Leon Davis that have, have done similar so um, it's good to have those people to try try bounce off and try um try replicate what they what they've done yeah you can see that the the pathway is there and, and what can be achieved really yeah exactly um if, if there weren't anyone playing then you'd kind of think oh what what's this for so um seeing those players do do what they've done um it does really make you want to want to do the same things yeah and of course massive as well mark with his his background he completely gets the the whole process yeah exactly um with bonds obviously i've known him for years so i know if if i'm doing well and and he can trust me that I will get the games and, and you can see that with other players that he's brought through. So, yeah, that's always a positive. Cool, that's great for me. Lewis, what are your aims this season on a personal level? Uh, I think it's just to um, just play as many games as I can, try to stay around the squad as long as I can. I've been on a few loans now, so I think it's time to just crack on here and, and just get around it. Yeah, what were your talks with Mark Bonner like this season as to what your role might be in the team? Uh, I think it's just... Literally, as I said, just get as many games as I can. Be be a squad player, but try push on and and just get as many games as I can together. 
with Millwall tomorrow. What do you make of them as a side and how much are you looking forward to it? Yeah, they'll be a really strong side. Obviously, they're, they're in the league above us, so they'll they'll be the favourites. We played quite a few championship teams in pre-season, so we kind of get a gauge of what, what that standard's like. But yeah, they'll be a really good side. Yeah, and in terms of the, the team zones for the season, what do you think this season's all about for, for Cambridge United? I think it's just about improving on last year. Obviously, last year the boys had a really good year. Um, done better than most people would have thought. So I think it's just about carrying that on and, and going one more this year. And how much are you enjoying being around this environment, obviously, at your, your hometown club, essentially? Yes, it's all I know. I've been, I've been <laughs> here since I was six. So, um, yeah, I know the club, know, know everyone at the club. So, yes, it's really good to um, be in that first team now. Brilliant.